Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and I am here to sew the Island Hopper dress and it is super cute. It's got lots of twirl and it's fun and it's like a half shoulder. Um, so that's really, really cute and I'm excited. Um, so I, um, before I get started though, let me remind you about our fun fan giveaway, a $50 LA Maggie certificate. And all you have to do is uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't and then comment below uh, one of our participating videos and you will be entered for our giveaway so go ahead and do that if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe first and then go comment on our channel um, so let's go ahead and get started once again I am using the island hopper and I already cut out all my pieces and I'm ready to go okay so first things first we're gonna grab our front and our back and we're gonna put it right sides together. And we're gonna sew the shoulder seam right here, the shoulders right sides together. I am using my serger. Um, if you have a serger, um, you can go ahead and do that. But if you don't have a serger and you have to use your sewing machine, you can use a stretch stitch on your sewing machine and that will work just I am going, I'm actually going with a black uh, front and I'm gonna um, probably do some like vinyl on it, like a little saying, it'd be super cute. Anyway, so now I'm gonna go ahead and open it and here is my armpit area, my arm side, where my, uh, where my arm's gonna go. Here's my front, see how it kind of splits because it's going down. So I'm gonna grab my armband, we're gonna attach our armband first. I'm folding it right sides, wrong sides together. I'm sorry, wrong sides together. Then I'm going to fold it right at the middle to catch, to find that middle edge, I'm finding where the middle is right here. And I'm just going to notch it a little bit, just enough so I can see it. But when I sew it, you can't even see it anymore. And I'm going to put that right at the shoulder seam. Shoulder seam. Why do I always sing that? Shoulder seam. I don't know. And then we're going to go down the side, right sides together, pulling all the way down to the side. And you're going to have to stretch a little bit as you go. Stretch a little bit as you go to make sure that it goes all the way to the edge. And I'm going to go ahead and sew that raw edges together, right sides together. Again, I'm gonna stretch. So I'm gonna start here at the end and kind of piece it together a little bit and then grab that middle piece and stretch. If you wanna put more clips in there, you can. I'm just not a, uh, I don't pin a lot or clip a lot. I just, and remove that pin in the middle. And then I'm gonna grab the end, pull, make sure it's all even. And so I'm going to pull that pin out of the way, make sure it's still even though. All right. We always want to, when we lift it up, look at it and make sure that it all caught on there. So when you open it, it won't be, uh, there won't be a gap in your fabric and we're gonna open it up and steam the seam I'm gonna steam it going all the same way all right so now for the neckline you can do the same thing I just did for the um, shoulder on the neckline if you want to fold the neckline and do it from here to here on both sides or you can go ahead and sew up the sides and I'll show you how I'm going to do the neckline. So now we're going to fold it right sides together. And we're going to sew up those sides. Like I said, if you wanted to do the neck band just like we did the armband, you can do that. And I'll show you what we'll have to, or last step for our armband. Um, but, so you would do that now before you sew the sides. But if you are, you want to go ahead and sew the sides first and then attach the neck band like a, uh, like an actual band, then I'm going to show you how to do that. 
I'm gonna sew those sides together. Right sides together. To finish up my armband, I'll have to tuck in that serger tail. So what I like to do is I like to fold the serger tail to the back right on top of that seam and use a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine to sew it right onto that seam. And then I'm going to clip and now it's sewn onto that seam and you don't even see it. So that is done. And now we are going to do our neckline. So if you did it the other way, you would have your neckline already done when you sew it together. But if you didn't, then now is your time to do it. And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm gonna grab the neckline. I'm gonna fold it right sides together, wrong sides together, I'm sorry. The neck band, called it the neckline. This is not the neckline, this is the neck band. Wrong sides together to give it a memory crease. Then right sides together and sew that short raw edge. Okay, and then we're gonna fold it wrong sides together again and meet that neck, that seam back here together and then uh, I'm gonna go put it right sides together I'm gonna put that front I mean that side seam to the side and I'm gonna go to the front so that side that seam is to, it's the back and here's the front so that's half and since this is halved so we're gonna put the seam on one side and then the other uh, mark we just made on the other side putting it right sides together, the band, and I'm gonna clip. Now, if you wanted to pin more than just half, which is what I did, you can go ahead and quarter and pin more. And you're gonna sew that right sides together, the raw edge. I'm gonna start at the bottom, at the seam, and I put the seam at the bottom because I want it to be kind of like where you can't see it, covered by the arm. And we're gonna sew just like we did our armband. If it's too long, you may, you know what? I may wanna quarter this because I can't grab the end before I move on. And I don't wanna mess it up because I just don't wanna pin. So, okay, fine, I'll pin. I'm just gonna pull it tight, make sure it's even, and grab like somewhere in the middle for the back as well. Pull it tight, make sure the raw edges are even, and grab in the middle. That is my quick way of finding another spot. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and sew it. If you um, are wondering, I'm using cotton lycra for this dress. All right. So I'm gonna go all the way around using those quarter points to pull and make sure it's even. Yeah. All right, so my nightband is done. And I'm going to steam it, give it a good steam. Make sure the seam is all going the right way. That way it looks nice and even when you go to put it on. All right, so now my bodice is done, how cute. I'm gonna do some white lettering on this, I think. Um, so that's gonna be really cute. Okay, 
So then after I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and build my skirt. Now I have <clears throat> 12 panels and I am going to grab my panels and I'm gonna put them right sides together. Here's one panel, here's my other panel, right sides together. And I'm gonna sew on one edge. These two right sides together, I'm gonna sew at one edge, sew them together. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and open it up and steam it. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab a ne the next panel so like I'm doing every other. So the next panel is going to be my black and white panel. And I've already put pieced a lot of it together. My black and white panel, I'm gonna sew it on. Right sides together every time. Okay. So my next panel will be the one with the little characters. So I'm going to pin it together, right sides together again, and go all the way around. When I get to the edge, I'm turn it inside out. I'm going to put it right sides together at the end so that they are interscaling thing, whatever you call it. What do you call that? Every other. Every other. And I've created my little skirt. See? Got every other in between, however you want to do it, whatever colors you want to put in there. You're so you're sewing each one each side and aside until you make a circle and close it together. So now I'm gonna grab my bodice. I'm going to put my two sides together and go to the back and the front. And that's how I'm going to quarter my dress to make sure that I'm attaching my skirt right then I'm going to fit my skirt right into my bodice well if you want to quarter your skirt as well you can grab two sides and go here's one side here's the other and then I'll meet those two front and back and go to the sides just so I know where I'm you know supposed to attach them that way they're not like uneven looking when you look at it if I made it tighter on one side or the other because they're the same fabric I don't have to know like which one's each side now I'm going to match those points but if you're using a certain fabric that you want for the front then this would help you to know exactly where it's gonna go to line it up. We are almost done. We'll sew this one on and then we are working on our ruffle, ruffle, and then we'll be done. That's so simple. You know, sometimes you look at patterns and you look at the picture and you're like, ooh, that looks complicated. And then you actually sew it and you're like, wow, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. Now we're gonna go ahead and sew the raw edges together around the whole skirt. I'm gonna start at the back, so that way that seam will be in the back and my tomato's trying to run away from me. So we're gonna start at the back and we're gonna go all the way around, right sides together, sewing that skirt and bodice together at the raw edges. All right. Our skirt is attached and you wanna make sure that it attached everywhere so you don't have a little piece that's hanging out or anything like that. You want to make sure of that first before you keep going. And look at how cute. This would be like a nice cute little peplum. <laughs> well, it's a little bit longer than a peplum already. But it would be really cute if you wanted to leave it like this. Like a tunic with leggings. Sunshine leggings would be perfect. Um, with this one. But we're going to move on to put that ruffle on. How cute is this? Woo. All right, so my ruffle. We're gonna grab my all my pieces. There's three of them and I'm putting the raw edge. We're gonna put that raw edge right sides together. So there's one. Here's my next one. 
raw edges, right sides together. Add the short edge. So we're gonna attach them together. To create like a continuous round thing. And there's two options, two ways you can do this. And make sure that they are straight, they're not tangling on you, turning, twisting, and then you don't sew them correctly. And I'm gonna sew the last one. There's three of them. Right sides together, that raw edge. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what I mean. There's a couple of ways to do this. You can go ahead and gather it now and start at, well, first we're gonna hem it, but you can go ahead and start now and you can go ahead and start at one edge, gather it first and then start at one edge and put all the gatherings all the way around and sew it until it leave a little gap right here, then sew it together and then sew it onto the skirt. But the way I'm going to do it, I'm just gonna go ahead and sew the whole thing into one big circle. But I gotta make sure that it's the correct right sides together. I don't want it to be turning on me and then end up not being the right sides together. So I'm making sure that it is correct. And I'm going to sew it together, right sides together and make one big circle. Okay, and after I make this one big circle, I'm going to go ahead and hem it. Now, because this is knit, if you wanted to leave it raw, you can, but I wanna hem it. So I'm gonna do a half an inch allowance around the whole thing and go around and hem, and then we'll be back to put it, uh, gather it and put it on our skirt. All right, it's all hemmed all the way around. And now we're gonna go ahead and gather it the width of the dress. So this is a lot of ruffle that we're gonna gather. The way that I like to gather, I feel like it's simpler and easy for me is I do a straight stitch on my sewing machine and I go all the way around with that straight stitch. And then um, what I do is I grab my thread right up here and hold it a little bit, give it a little bit of tension and that helps my machine to go ahead and ruffle as it's going. So it's kind of ruffling it for me. Um, and it gives me a little bit of ruffle to start with and then I pull it and, and ruffle a little bit better. I'll show you once I'm done gathering it all. But there's other, obviously tons of other methods to gather. And if you have a preferred method to gather, you can go ahead and use that. Also, I show how to gather with the serger on the, um, um, the other video that, uh, I just drew a blink on what the video is. Is the Take Me to Tea, I think it is. Um, one of the other dress videos that have gathers on it. Um, and then, so you can go and check some of those out. There's different tips on different gathering methods. Um, so if you wanna check that out, but how I actually do it is just a straight stitch, uh, long straight stitch, it's like a basing stitch, probably like a six. Um, and then um, that's what I, I'll pull it later and that's how I like to gather. I just feel like that's a, lot, a little bit easier for me to do than to do the other things. Now the serger method is super easy and all you have to do is search the whole edge and then you pull the two, um, uh, uh, not the loopers, but the two threads, you kind of pull it and that helps you gather as well. So you can do it that way as well if you like, um, it is up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then we'll come back to finish it up. When I get to the end, I kind of overlap those threads a little bit so that I don't like end up pulling it too hard on one side and end up going out. So here's my ruffle. As you can tell, it's a little bit bigger than the skirt. So I'm gonna open up my skirt. I'm gonna see how wide I need to have it. So I need to make it a little bit thinner, a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna pull at the threads right here and I'm gonna gather it just a little bit more because I'll tell you this, because it's so ruffled, 
I don't even worry so much about um, about it being even. I mean, obviously, I want it to even to be even, and it is even. But what I'm saying is, I don't worry about it so much. Like, oh, if I pull too much on this side, it's not gonna be even, because it's so tight that you wouldn't even be able to tell if it was a little bit tighter on one edge than the other. Obviously, you don't want it to be like straight on one edge and then curly on the other one, but you want to make sure that they're tight everywhere, but um, they're so tight that it's so much easier. Sometimes it's honestly easier to do really tight gathers than to do um, looser gathers because when they're so tight, you know, they're, you know they're just back to back to each other. So it's not that big of a deal. I'm almost there. Um, I'm going to pull it just a tiny bit more on this side. And then I should be right where I need to be. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie one side to the other one. The two sides that I gathered, the two threads, the finishing and the beginning. So that way they don't come loose as I'm attaching them. And then the ruffles kind of spread out here at the end. Don't want to do that. So I'm just attaching those two together and just kind of trimming it a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those ruffles right sides together with the skirt. So I'm going to open up the skirt and I'm attaching it right sides together, the ruffle with the right side of the bottom of the skirt. And like I said, because they're tight, you're just going to have to manipulate them, make sure that the front is sticking up and you don't want it to curl under. Sometimes they try to do that. They try to go and you don't want them to do that. So make sure you're pinning good. Make sure you're pulling them out and keep them straight forward and pretty even. Like I said, because it's tighter ruffles, honestly, I'm telling you, it's not as difficult as the looser ruffles because you they're so tight together that you can't even tell like there's more ruffles on this one side than the other so i know that sometimes it's scary to see like ooh, look at all those ruffles i don't know that i can keep up with all those ruffles it's honestly easier to do all those ruffles than to do just a few ruffles honestly i'm not even kidding you so i'm just manipulating my ruffles making them stand up so that the raw edge of them is touching the raw edge of my dress and they're not tucked under. They want to do that. They want to go in and so then they'll be tucked under so when you sew them, they'll be all wonky. You don't want that. You wanna make sure that you spread them out. So that's why I take my time with this step. I make sure my ruffles are nice and straight um, as they're touching the raw edge um, and I pin quite a bit so that way they stay where they're supposed to be. They don't come up and move as I'm sewing and then I have like a gap on my on my fabric. I don't want that. So I'm going to go around, continue to just play with them this way. Uh, they're matching the raw edge. As you can see, I'm matching that raw edge. I'm going to continue all the way around. Then we'll come back, sew them together and we'll be done. All right, so now my whole ruffle is attached to the raw edge, as you can see it all the way around. I'm gonna go in my serger and sew all the way around of right sides together, that raw edge. And as I'm doing it, I'm gonna be removing those pins so I don't they don't get cut on my serger and ruin my serger. So I'm gonna be going and make sure when you're doing it to keep, keep your ruffles sticking out. You don't want them to curl in. So do it slowly, take your time as you're doing it and make sure that you're not catching any other part of your dress. So pull the other side of your dress out to the side, to the end, so that you don't catch any of the other part of your dress while you're going around and sewing your ruffles on. I do like to sew with my ruffles staying on the top so that I can manipulate them better. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll be done. All right, so now that I've gone all the way around, I wanna look before I move on and make sure that my ruffle cut all the way around, that I don't have anything that didn't catch because if I do, then before I pull that um, gathering stitch, I wanna make sure that I sew it back on, I go right over it. Sometimes if it's just a tiny little piece that is not on right, I will do um, with my sewing machine, I'll do a stretch stitch right over it but it looks good. So now I'm gonna pull that basting stitch. See, 
if I can pull it. And then my skirt will be done. All I have to do is um, steam it. Usually you can pull that basting stitch really easily. So that way, unless you sewed over it, then it gets a little bit trickier. But anyway, I'm gonna pull that basting stitch out and then I'm going to um, steam my ruffles down and we will be done. Look at it. Look at it already, how cute this is. So super cute. This just needs to come down. Let me finish this up so that way I can show you how cute it looks once I do steam it all the way. All right, now basting stitch is out and I am steaming my ruffles straight. So I wanna pull at them and steam them, making sure that they're laying nice. As I'm doing this, I am making the seam go the, the same way all the way around to help it stay down and pretty. All the way around. I think I'm almost there. Can't really tell where I started. And here is my beautiful, beautiful dress. How cute is this thing? So cute. And I'm gonna write something on here and it will be amazing. I hope you enjoyed this sew along. I hope you um, uh, got what you need out of it. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did. If I did something that you're like, hmm, I don't understand what she's doing. Please let me know and I'll be able to help you. Uh, comment, like, share. Come share it with your make with us at our um, Instagram or Facebook page. The links are below. Come join us if you're not a part of those uh, pages. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your, of your day. Comment, like, share, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.